There have been times in the last three or four weeks when I thought it was the dumbest, most stupid idea we ever thought about, because when the tensions and the challenges hit you, the reality, of course, and, um, but yet, I think tonight the mood I sense is very strong, nice buzz about the place, good company, great food. I think we've managed to put on a bit of a show here tonight. It's thanks to you, it's thanks to you for coming and, and supporting us and, um, you know, on a Saturday night I'm sure there's lots of great things you could be doing. But it's not just about tonight. As Richard said so eloquently, this is a step, uh, forgive the jargon because it seems to be a very fashionable word now, but this is a step in a journey. A journey really of transition for the Hope Centre as it takes on a new dimension. And it's a dimension that reflects the, um, the challenge for our clients. It's a challenge to move from dependence to independence. To move from a reliance on donations and grants to earning our income. And that's what Hope Enterprises is all about. To earn income through commercial services. And really, guys, it's, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, it's not about tonight. We would like your support, yes, as volunteers, yes, as donors going forward, but actually, by our commercial services and products, Hope Enterprises has some really good services that you should avail yourselves of, and we want, want to earn your business and retain your business going forward. So, um, please, that's the kind of message of tonight as we officially launch Hope Enterprises, which is the trading arm of the parent charity that you've known for a long time, Hope Centre. Yay! In terms of big, brash, bold ideas, well, several things are happening. Today we launched a new concept, Hope Cafe, at the uh, Nen Water Centre. I'm pleased to see Kerry and the guests here from the Water Centre. So if you walk a dog, if you run, if you walk water, go and try the cafe there. Um, and really tonight, perhaps to launch officially, if this was a challenge for us, we've got an even bigger one for next year when uh, our honorary patron, one of our honorary patrons, Earl Spencer, has um, invited us to host next year's gala dinner at Oldthorpe. And the date I can announce tonight is Thursday the 20th of March. So if any of you would uh, like to join us on that night, please, well, let's say another big, bold crash. about the red dragons that I'm wearing. <laughs> Actually, I didn't get as much flack as I expected. I got a lot of very nice compliments, it's true, but I was expecting a lot of, uh, a lot of flack. Now, you know, this, um, it was St. David's Day yesterday. I couldn't let the occasion pass, so I would like to say to you all, happy St. David's Day, belatedly. And ladies, may... May your daffodils blossom and shine, and gentlemen, may your leeks be forever firm and erect. <laughs> and this is, this is, this is, this is, this is an event about hope, and I'm hoping on March the 16th that Wales will spoil England's party in the road. Council who do quite a lot of work with all of those work with us throughout the year to give us the support 
um, on a day-to-day -day basis for the operation as much as uh, involved in this event. So thank you indeed. two deans here, I better be careful what I say, but uh, my dean isn't here, so that's okay. <laughs> it's a BC, BC is not here. But they do give us a little bit of time to do this, uh, what's it called, what's the fashion word, journey? No, community outreach, that's the word, community outreach. So they tolerate the, you know, helping and supporting, and it's great that they do. But also they've sponsored the event tonight by hosting the event. Which I think we, for those of you that know this place during the day, that does 2,000 meals a day for students, what a great transformation it's been. Yeah. who finally was sort of twisted his arm by his, uh, his PA and clear pen that he paid for all the wine tonight, or most of the wine indeed. So that was... And our other sponsors, I mustn't forget, now we have guests here from Steptronic Footwear. We have, in one sense, an industry that's dying, but Steptronic Footwear have produced a new concept in footwear. They're award-winning, they're exporting around the country, they are growing, and it's worth taking a look on their website and their shoes. Certainly men's shoes are available in Montague's, for instance, in town. So many thanks. Dave Corbin couldn't be here tonight, but many thanks to Steptronic Footwear. Two other sponsors, um, very good friends of mine, actually, but GCS Construction are here. Keeping local workers employed locally. That's their strap line. Local workers employed locally. Thank you guys for your support. And the other one, now I can't remember, I meant to check on the website, but David Smith Associates. David, where are you? Can I have a big cheer? Now, David is a surveyor of some kind, but I don't know what the hell he surveys. Is it quantity or property? Or, uh, David, what, tell me, what, what's your strap line? Thank you, that one, Structural Engineering. David, thank you, DSA Associates, for your support too. And we're obviously grateful to all our other sponsors, prize donors, supporters and suppliers, far too many, sadly, to mention tonight in great detail. Um, where's Lincoln? We must thank Lincoln. I think he's done a stunning job with our engineers. Chef Adam Gray and 
and um, you've heard that he's, we're losing him to the county, I'm afraid, on a day-to-day -day basis, but he is setting up in London, and I reckon a lot of us will be going down to the Royal Festival Hall to see him. He's just signed a new book deal, uh, recently won this award, and his career is obviously going great places. Did you enjoy the food? Thank you so much. 